Hey, it's Peter from Little Robot. In this video, I want to show you Typing Mind, which is a better UI for ChatGPT. It's been built by a guy called Tony. He's an indie hacker. He's very busy on Twitter. If you want to go and follow him, I'll leave his profile below. Anyway, let's just have a little explore. So you've probably used ChatGPT by now. If you want to use the pro version of that, it's around $19 to $20 per month. What Tony has done, he's built this app, which is a one-off fee, which wasn't much money. I think I paid around about $20. But you then plug in your OpenAI API details and you are charged per token generated straight to OpenAI. I've been using this now for a good month. As you can see, I've spent 10 cents, which isn't a lot of money. So it's really cheap to run. What Tony's also done is integrated Google web search. So whilst you are chatting with the AI, you can also do Google searches and interpret that data using the AI, which is really sophisticated. ChatGPT are going to do this in the next month for rolling it out slowly, but Tony's beating them to it using their own product, which is um, pretty incredible if you think about it. So. We've got different characters on here, which is useful. These are predefined prompts. There's lots to choose from, pretty much every scenario you can think of. But I've selected that I'm chatting with a journalist. I want this journalist to write a short press release about a better UI for ChatGPT called Typing Mind, and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, this works exactly like ChatGPT. It doesn't cost me anything, that cost me well, not even a cent, which is pretty good. And then we can ask it to look something up on Google. So let's have a look. So I obviously haven't put in the right kind of prompt. So let's have a look. I can definitely search for news about type mining Google. Can you please provide some specific information? I'll just say people talking on Twitter. Right, so you can see here now, by looking up and following the instructions, first of all, I probably didn't type in the right thing. So it told me it could search on Google, which is good. Um, then it was like getting blood out of a stone from me because I just didn't tell it the right information. So I've asked it to look up for the hashtag typing mind to see if anyone is talking about that. Typing mind has said understood. Here's the command to search for recent tweets. Typing mind, search typing mind on Twitter, which is good and has brought back some of the results. So you can see here current information pulled from Google and then rewritten by ChatGPT. So I got a full understanding. So we can see here the tweet here from March the 15th by, I cannot pronounce that name, I <laughs> do apologize, called Chat Friday versus Typing Mind. Tweet from product information about Typing Mind on future tools. So this is a really powerful way to search the internet to grab the results and then we can write something from that. So I can now say, um, can you write a press release information? Here we go. So it's now writing a press release based on the Google search. So you think of how powerful that is. You can search for absolutely anything take that data, rewrite that data, and then use it in whatever you need. Anyway, I wanted to show you that overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop us a follow, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And if you go to littlerobot.ai, you can subscribe to our newsletter. Cheers, and we'll chat soon.